Morning to you on this Wednesday. I trust that you are well. Today we return to Mark chapter 10 and we read from verse 46 where Bartimaeus receives his sight. Then they came to Jericho and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a large crowd, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the road. When he heard that it was Jesus the Nazarene, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many were sternly telling him to be quiet, but he kept crying out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, stand up, he is calling for you. Throwing aside his cloak, he jumped up and came to Jesus. And answering him, Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabboni, I want to regain my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and began following him on the road. What a wonderful story this is. I love this story. Jesus has been in Jericho. He's leaving. He's just about out on the outskirts of the city. The crowd's making a big noise. There's blind Bartimaeus sitting at the roadside begging. He wants to know what all the hubbub is about. They tell him it's Jesus. Oh, wow. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. They tell him to shut up. He yells out even louder, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stops and says, call him here. And then the next words really hit me. They said to the man, take courage, stand up. He is calling for you. And he did. He threw aside his cloak and went to Jesus and received his sight. But the words I want to home in on today are the words, take courage, stand up. He is calling for you. Maybe to this moment you have not yet stood up, taken courage and come to Jesus, realizing that he's calling for you. If you have not yet been saved, he wants to save you. Stand up, take courage. He's calling for you. Come to him and be saved. Call upon his name. Bring to him your sins. Repent of them and he will forgive you and wash you clean and you'll have a new life. Maybe you've already come to him and are saved, but you are carrying a burden. You've lost a loved one. You're suffering with an illness. Or someone you love is ill. You've got worries, cares, burdens. You don't know how to make ends meet. Life is looking pretty drastic. Maybe you're down. Stand up. Take courage. Come to him. He's calling for you. Jesus stretched out his arms on the cross for you and now he's stretching out his arms and he says come to me all who labor and are heavy laden I will give you rest take my burden upon you take my yoke upon you and learn from me for my burden is light my yoke is easy and my burden is light my friend take courage come to him he's calling for you and Jesus will never turn you away that's the beautiful thing Lord God Heavenly Father what a beautiful word we have today what a beautiful word to start the day with Help us to take courage, to hear that you are calling us. And we run to you, Lord Jesus, as Bartimaeus did that day. We run to you. We run to you with our sins. We run to you with our burdens. We run to you with our cares and worries. And we place them at your feet. We take courage because you have called us. And we know that you will not turn us away. And we thank you for that. We thank you that you stretched out your arms upon the cross so that now with outstretched arms you can call to us. And you say, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. We come to you, Lord Jesus, and we receive everything that we need to receive. We pray for those who have not yet come to you, who maybe are listening to this message but are, are doubting. Help them to take courage, to hear your voice, to heed, and to come and to receive. Lord, you have said that you will never cast out those who come to you. So we come to you, and we ask your blessing now. Over this day, we thank you, Lord, for many children today is a return to school here in New South Wales so we pray Lord for them and the teachers and pray that they have a good day we pray Lord for our governments and all in authority we pray that they will come to you for wisdom and seek guidance in these very difficult and strange times that we live in Lord God Heavenly Father we pray for those who mourn we pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need we pray Lord for those who are suffering in the war in the Ukraine we pray for an end to this war we pray that the enemy be routed and defeated totally Lord God, Heavenly Father, we lift up before you those who do not know you yet, that they would today heed your voice, come, take courage, run to you and be saved. Lord God, Heavenly Father, bless all who preach your word. I pray for everyone who's listening to these messages, Lord, that you would just bless them. 
lay your hand upon them. Help us to bless those who curse us. Help us, Lord, to show your love wherever we go. It's not always easy, but we can do it with you. And so we ask that your Holy Spirit would infill us anew today and lead us and guide us. And hear us now as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Remember, take courage. Run to Jesus. He's calling you.